This is Legal Break with attorney Gary Bruce. Hello there and welcome. Welcome, Gary. Good to see you. Good. Good morning. Good to be here. So we've done Legal Break for quite a while now, about a few years for sure. And we have, there's a lot of terms that have been thrown out there. Tell me what actually constitutes the term accident. First, I want to say thank you for letting me do this program. I hear from, I hear about it from people all the time, and, and they tell me they watch us, and I uh, I appreciate that very much. Yeah, uh, thank you, too. Me, too, as well. <laughs> makes me feel like we're contributing something and educating at some level. So, uh, accident. All right. It's, it's a term of art we all kind of grew up with. It's not a term of art. It's a term we've all kind of grown up with, mm -hmm. understanding when something doesn't go the way we intended it to. Mm -hmm. Normally, I hear it from insurance company lawyers and insurance company adjusters who want to downplay the impact of bad decisions. So, you know, we talk about wrecks and, and uh, falls and, and issues that happen where there's a duty, mm -hmm. a breach of that duty that causes an injury. So, you know, making bad decisions, violating the rules we all kind of know common sense tells us we have to follow. So they're not accidents. Uh, they're not intended, maybe. But they're not accidents, they're the result of bad decisions. So I don't really like the term. I think it's used to kind of poo-poo cases a little. And uh, I think, anyway, you gotta be careful about that. Well, so then how do we, you mentioned the word intentional. How do you determine if something's intentional? Well, I think this, you have to look to the facts. Uh, that's what we do in discovery. We find out more about the facts. If someone got drunk and got behind the wheel of a car, well, you know, that's kind of intentional. So that will allow bringing a punitive damages case that a jury can hear and decide. Mm -hmm. uh, if you get up in the morning and you want to go run somebody over because you don't like them, maybe that's intentional. I mean, it, sometimes it's, it's always fact specific. Mm -hmm. It's not often that you have a, a intentional act that causes someone harm, but when it happens, not only are they responsible for the damages, the lost wages, lost earnings, pain and suffering, change in lifestyle, that kind of thing, but also they can be punished by a jury, even in civil court, in addition to maybe any criminal case that might be pending against them. Well, now you mentioned damages. How do you calculate, how do we calculate damages? Yeah, well, we've talked about that a lot, but, um, and it's a course in law school. Maybe, maybe it's something we study our entire life. It's how the life is impacted that's what has to be compensated so it's the calculation of, of the compensation and i don't even know where to begin in 15 seconds on that except to say it's left to the enlightened conscience of an impartial jury oh. so or fact finder so you know it, very good that's a big deal it that's is. a big part of what we do thank you thank you gary we'll see you on the very next legal break